Dear students, Assalamu alaikum. I am Sanjida Islam, your SI Miss. Today I will take your English 1 spelling class. In this session, I will discuss Unit 7 Focus Part. Now I will talk about the Focus Part content. In Focus Part, we are gonna learn some new keywords. We will spell it out and we will try to pronounce them correctly. So students, please go to page number 16. Look at the top of the page. There is a new word pattern for you. The pattern is A, any new letter, E. It is a three letter base ending pattern of a word. Let me make you clear with examples. Please have a look on this word. It is flay. Please see the last three letters of this word. Our pattern is A, any new letter, E. Here in the place of new letter, I wrote K. So the pattern is complete with A, new word. In the same way, in place of K, if I write M, it will be flame. You keep in mind that you can take any new letter in between A and E to make a new word. But the letter A and E will not be changed. So students, using this pattern, we will learn some more words in this chapter. Now we will learn the keywords of focus box. Our first keyword is face. It is very familiar word to you. Face is the front part of the head. The next keyword is race. Sometimes you make race with your friends in school, right? Race means competition to run. And then place. You have visited many beautiful places, haven't you? The place is a particular position or location. The next word, space. Space means empty place. And then, age. Age is related to our life. Everyone and everything has an age. Age is the length of lifetime of a person. The next word. Case. Have a look on the picture. There is a bird in a cage. Cage is a surrounded place for birds or animals. Then the next word. Page. You use pages for writing anything, right? A piece of paper of a book or magazine is page. Then the next word. Stage. Look at the picture. Someone is performing on the stage. Stage is a raised floor or platform. And then blame. Blame means to complain about others. The next word, flame. You may see flame while someone cooks. Flame means bright reddish orange color of fire. And then flake, a tiny light piece of something. And the last word, snake. Are you scared? Yes. Snake is a reptile with a long body. Now we will do an exercise with the words we learned. Write the word in your book that matches each picture. Now look at the first picture. There are two words. Face and space. You have to choose a suitable word for this picture. So can you say what is the picture of it? Yes, it is a picture of a 
face. Okay, look at the second picture. The two words are vase and place. Then what can you see in this picture? Yes, some boys are making race among them. So the suitable word for this picture is vase. The third picture. You can see a lion in a cage. I think you saw in the zoo, right? So, cage will be matched with this picture. After that, picture 4. Two words are given here. Stage and page. I think you can see, right? Yes, it's the picture of a stage. Then, number 5. What can you see in this picture? Alright, you can easily say that it's a snake. And the last one. There are two words for this picture. Beam and flame. You have already known that. Blame means to complain about others. And flame is a reddish orange color of fire. So, I think you got that, right? Yes, it will be flame. So, students, we have finished this exercise. There is an another exercise for you. Write three key words that rhyme with ace. You see, here I have written the three rhyming words of ace. These are case, brace and chase. Case means an incident. Brace as a pair of something. And chase to hunt or to follow. So students, there is an another homework for you. Write three keywords that rhyme with age. And you will do it at your home. So today we have finished the focus part of unit 7. And inshallah in our next session, we will try to cover the extra and extension part of unit 7. Till that, take care. Assalamu alaikum. May Allah grant us goodness. Amin.